Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Kai Waza with you, and we're going through my Hawaiian record collections looking at uh, <coughs> compilation albums right now. We're going to pick up where we left off uh, after the last video. This next album, uh, I was kind of excited to find it and I didn't really know what it was when I found it. I believe, if I recall, I found it at a thrift store for like a dollar or something. Uh, the cover's very beaten up, but it was obviously something old, something I had not seen before, from a label called Audio Lab, Hawaiian Holiday, and you can tell from the back, it seems to be, I don't know anything about them, but it seems to be some sort of kind of budgety label recording, like earlier recordings of people. Um, and it doesn't even say on the cover or on the back who the artists are or the song titles. And what turned out to be so, why I was so fascinated and excited about this record is uh, there's two different artists on it. I think four or five of the songs are by Andy Iona and his Islanders, very well-known old group from like the 30s and 40s and such. And then somebody who I'd never heard of before, Eddie Martin and his Serenaders. I don't know who they are, but they did the majority of the songs on this album. Um, <clears throat> Andy Iona has some wonderful songs, particularly a Hawaiian, a Hawaiian Interlude, I love that song, and The Five Hula Lessons, which is a great song with this woman describing different things that uh, she taught somebody how to say, that she was in love with, basically. Uh, and then Eddie Martin has some great vocals and interesting things like Song of the Islands is a very well-known song, but he did something called New Song of the Islands. And there's some instrumentals, Moonrise Over the Pali and uh, Echoes of Hawaii that are really nice. So um, this was quite a find. I have seen it on eBay a couple of times, quite expensive uh, and not generally in good shape. It's very beaten up most of the time that you see it. So the record itself is not in bad shape, but the cover here also really beaten up. Um, <clears throat> this is, a, in case you're curious, a picture actually is a picture. I don't know, it's a Lurleen or the Matsoni or one of the old cruise ships coming in back in the day. It did actually anchor off shore somewhere, I think maybe the Big Island, not Honolulu, but at one of the outer islands. I think Kailua, it like anchors off of shore like that. I don't know. Interesting record. Uh, another interesting record called uh, Hawaiian Magic the Wonderful Sound of Hawaiian Music. Um, this also kind of on a budget label, the International Award Series. And this one by three different artists, recordings from three different artists. Uh, we have to say we love the picture. Love the picture. Uh, Lottie McIntyre well-known performer. Johnny Pineapple, well-known performer, whose actual name was David Kanoahi, I think, or Kanohi. Uh, but well-known as Johnny Pineapple. And then Johnny Poi. Um, I'm not really sure that... I do have a couple of recordings by Johnny Poi, and I I don't... I could be wrong, but I don't think there actually was a performer named Johnny Poi. I think Johnny Poi was just used as a, a pseudonym for Hal Aloma, who was a steel guitar player and singer who is, in fact... Uh, on the tracks that are Johnny Poi, but I could be wrong. Maybe there was somebody and he performed with them, but I think Johnny Poi was just a name that Hal Aloma used when recording, like, under a different label or something. Uh, what I find interesting is it says here, original recordings. That's kind of funny, right? Because these aren't, like, hit records of anybody, so, like, of course they're original recordings. Uh, I love... Um, Lonnie McIntyre's Love Fire and Hula Chant from this album. Love them. And the Hawaiian word chant, Tahua Hawaii, uh, credited to Johnny Poi. One of the best versions there is. One of the best versions there is. Fabulous. Um, actually, this, this is the first way I saw this album. These are the same record. Uh, my grandfather had this album growing up, um, so this was how I saw it. Three of a Kind series by design. Um, it's exactly the same album. I definitely, I highly recommend this one. If you see it somewhere, pick it up. I really enjoy the music on this one. Um, <clears throat> Hawaiian, uh, 
Hawaiian Railroads. This is kind of an interesting album. Hawaiian and Railroads, two words you don't usually see together in the same sentence. But unbeknownst to many people, um, there actually were railroads in Hawaii back in the day, uh, used not as a as a mode of people transportation so much as for the sugar plantations um, transporting I guess pineapple too they might have kind of yeah probably but mostly sugar sugar plantations uh, on most of the islands I mean the big island Maui this island all had railroads that they would take uh, the sugar in its various forms to different plate to processing and whatever this is a gatefold. So this is an album that sort of salutes those that era of the trains on the islands. And uh, it's all original compositions celebrating different railroads, the different lines by a variety of singers. Debbie Gima, former Miss Hawaii, is one of the singers. Uh, Copper Nickel, Rodney Arias has a few songs. Um, so uh, there's no date on it, but it's definitely the, uh, I would say, the early 70s. Jason Records, Jason Records. Interesting record. Now, no expense was spared in the titling of figuring out what to call this album. It's called Hawaiian Songs. Um, this picture, who I love, because she's like, actually looks sort of pissed off, right? She's grumpy and kind of. I think I have seen this elsewhere, and I think this picture is actually a still from the film Tiara Tahiti, which I have never seen, but I think this is a still from that. Um, this is not an American album. It is Dutch, I think, and uh, Mena Moreira Minstrels, George de Fretz. Yeah, those two. So, and those are artists out of out of Holland on this album. Hawaiian Stars, a memorable collection of Hawaiian favorites from Hula Records, kind of an interesting nice artwork, uh, but it's just a compilation of artists from uh, other albums of Hula Records, so they're just kind of promoting, you know, promoting their label, their artists nothing new on it. Finally, two steel guitar records uh, from the mainland, but these are uh, compilations of 78 RPMs put onto long play. Hawaiian steel guitar, 1920s, 1950s. Uh, this is from Folk Lyric Records, and it is from something, 1976. Um, Saul K. Bright, Jenks, Tex Carmen, Saul Ho P.E., Two buys, Royal Hawaiian Orchestra, and a follow-up. As far as I can understand, it's a follow-up. Uh, Hawaiian Steel Guitar Classics Volume Two. Although this doesn't say Volume One, it has a slightly different title. It's Folk Lyric Records. A few years later, so I don't know. I guess it's the follow-up. Uh, same thing going on. Uh, 78 RPMs onto LP. Sal Ho'opii, Madame Riviera's Hawaiians, Kalama's Quartet. Mike Hanapi's Elima Islanders. Okay, so that's that. Let's listen to some samples. And she packs a leg of ginger as a symbol of our love and our hearts entwined together neath the drowsy moon but one day I sailed away to my home across the sea. Sun that never fails to shine. 
I hope you enjoyed that. Subscribe if you'd like to see more uh, videos in this series of my Hawaiian record collection. Um, if you'd like to hear music from this collection, I invite you to subscribe to my other YouTube channel called Hawaiian Leisure Hour, or you can also go to Hawaiian Hi-Fi, which is my online radio station on live365.com. At either of those locations, you can hear Hawaiian music you know, 24-7 whenever you feel like it on vinyl. Well, taken from vinyl, whatever. Anyway, have a good week, and we'll see you next time.